What's up, everybody? It's your favorite Lion King's favorite nerd. And today we are looking at the Playmates attempt at a classic kind of representation of Voltron. I guess inspired by their success from their Netflix one. A lot of scuttlebutt going on about this. There's a lot to talk about with this and what this means. And this is an interesting release. It's on loan to me from Pinkerton. If you're nasty, from Realm of Collectors and the show Into the Realm, available on Podbean, iTunes, and YouTube, and the head of Crashbox Cup. Customs that does a lot of diorama work. So hit him up if you're looking for something nice. And speaking of something nice, let's get into these guys. We'll talk about each one, the accessories for each one as we do. We'll combine, we'll move on. All right, so we're gonna take our time with one of the legs and one of the arms, and we're gonna kind of fly through the other leg and other arm. Let's talk about the accessories. All of them have the the kind of you know thing they carry in their mouth. It does peg into the upper part of their mouth, and the bottom jaw is spring-loaded, so you shouldn't have any problem. Green paint on this one pegs in just fine. We have the kind of spike coming out of the rear. It can plug into any one of the four holes you'd like, so you have that option as well. And then we have the other side, which is spring-loaded and fires fairly well. And this one, he stressed his pretty significantly. I'm not sure if, uh, you know, what happened. He told me the story. I just can't remember. This does spin. But just be mindful of that. It, you know, or you'll be in the same boat. Nice green paint around there as well. All right. So for the lion itself, you only get the ab curl. So you can't like swivel both sides and get like the pouncing look, you know, so that kind of sucks. But you can position them in a way where they can sit. So that's nice. You can't get the head to look down. So that's kind of a bummer. But, you know, not the worst thing in the world. Um, the front legs. You got a ratcheted swivel here, a ratcheted swivel here, and a ratcheted swivel here. So all three joints are ratcheted. This is ratcheted. We'll talk about that a bit later, obviously. Ratchet, ratchet, ratchet. That's on all the legs. The head's ratchet. It's ratchet swivel. No up and down. That's kind of a bummer. A lot of paint on the face. I believe it to be green plastic, yes. And then the white is painted on, the black is painted on, and the yellow is painted on, and the gold is painted on. The bottom piece is painted as well. The bottom piece is white plastic. No, I th no, it's green plastic and the white is painted on, which is interesting, but at least it matches well. So I'm good with that. And then red paint here. And that's about it. So you can fold this piece out here. This is the connector. You tuck in the tail. Uh, let's see what else we can do. Fold the legs in. There's a way to get that tail in. I'm not sure what's going on. And then you can tuck the arms in. And then you just swivel it where it's appropriate. So this will plug in here. Oh, there it is. It was just not aimed quite right. There. So let's see. You know, it'll, it'll plug in. And then you just adjust this as necessary to get the look that you want. And that's him. And the yellow lion. So once again, the weapon pegs in under the mouth and the jaw is spring loaded. The only thing that sucks about that is you can't have it posed with the mouth open, you know? That's kind of a bummer, but small potatoes, I suppose. Yellow paint here, it's not done. It's like, it, they, I feel like they did the best they could. Yellow paint's a hard paint to do. Uh, they gave it a run for their money, I guess. Side shield here. And as a heads up, this does uh, plug, plug into all four holes, so to speak, the same way as the green. Yellow paint, this one's not as clean either and probably could have used another coat. It's hard to do, so I get it. This one's spring loaded as well. Not as powerful as the green one, but still works. Leg articulation, ratchet, ratchet, ratchet. You can get the leg all the way out, you know, and then of course curled up for combined mode, so. No issues there. The cannon here does swivel up and down. That's cool. That's a, that's a little touch that I like. Uh, the back leg articulation is the same. This one has a little bit more of a head movement. So the head... I don't even understand this. So it's a bar. It's a bar that goes through this piece here. This piece gives it the up and down, which is nice. And then the bar just sort of moves around inside of the neck, which gives it a little bit more up and down and a little bit side to side. 
lots of paint black paint red paint uh blue paint white paint black paint silver paint silver paint red paint silver paint that's silver paint we'll talk about that later but yeah looks good all of this looks good no no real issues so you get the leg up like this and the back legs like that or the front legs rather these collapse that's where the lion foot goes and this one comes down and you got yourself a foot all right so we have the red lion once again same here so we do have yellow paint in addition to the red paint the yellow paint is chipping so that's kind of a bummer but it looks good uh, nice silver paint in there we'll get back to that later articulation is the same as the green lion we do have this side gun here with the red paint on it and another missile launcher that doesn't work great yeah this one's the weakest i've seen so far obviously the spring tolerances are going to vary piece to piece but i've seen a range uh in quality there all right so the tail well we'll work on that later the tail's gonna be problems we had to open up this piece here this is the combiner port tuck in the feet the same way as we did the other one and we're pretty much good to go and we'll get that tail in i might have to do this off camera but uh, in addition we had this blue paint here which looks great this yellow paint looks really sharp they did a tremendous job here yellow paint on the eyes looks good the white paint silver paint black paint good to go you're my boy blue same type of thing pegs into the bottom blue paint done extremely well it's a glossy paint too for a lot of this um, another missile firing unit here let's see how this spring is holding up much better Got some real power behind that one. And then a little weapon unit over here. Once again, they all plug into the same holes. We've gone through the articulation already. We got red paint, silver paint, which looks good. Black paint, red paint, black paint, silver paint, yellow paint, red paint, yellow paint. Come on. Good job. This yellow could probably use a second coat. Doesn't look too bad on the eyes, though, which is probably the most important. Green paint up there at the top. So, yeah, all in all, well done. We'll get them folded up. nothing to it but to do it same transformation we've been doing since we were kids right there we go the black lion now you can have the ears in or out i always had the ears out as a kid uh it's up to you yellow paint there on the black looks good even though it's on black i'm surprised that it looks better on this than it does look on some of the gray parts which is interesting a nice black like glossy plastic that they used it looks really sharp white paint over top of black looks great we got gold eyes red up there that looks good we have the wings, you know, you can keep them folded up or you can have them out, you know, and around. Like sometimes I always like to have my lines like with the wings out. So, you know, up to you, whatever you want to do. Tail ratcheted, which is crazy. Um, we have universal joints here. And the rear legs, they're ratcheted both ways. Um, we'll get back to this. There's some limitations here, but in line mode, it's not too bad. Ratchet, ratchet, ratchet 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 this one's hard the other two feel softer but they still hold very well nice silver paint in there in the torso and then all that we'll look at here in a bit this part opens up he always has the more involved transformation you can flip this in and close it up same for this side flip this around so that the red matches up right Flip down the jaw to reveal the face. The face isn't on a separate piece. I like it when the face has its own flap. So that's kind of a bummer, but you know, small potatoes, I guess. Take the legs down and straighten them out. Take the wings up, nice white paint on the inside of there. And then they come out and they actually sit if you see you'll see where you have and they supposed to sit in those notches now you can have them wherever you want obviously but that gives you like a more solid spot to put them in flip the tail up we're good to go and there they all are all armed up and admittedly looking looking pretty sharp so to speak all right so let's combine them start with the legs and they just slide down and lock into place feels good so far let's back out a little bit one arm two arms so yeah 
pretty good. Good feel, good solid feel. Let me raise the camera up, we'll take a look at them. So let's take a look. Nice paint in on the face. We got the blue, the gold, the black on the gray plastic, which I'm not crazy about, and then the white paint as well. You get the swivel a good bit up, and uh, even this a little bit down because the flap folds down a little bit to let them look down, which I think is important. There, there's not really a stability issue. I know you see them wobbling around. The problem is with the heels, but we'll get there, and I have a potential fix for that. I mean, it's not a big deal fix. Not, I'm sure other people have mentioned it, but we'll, we'll get there. So, this is a problem for me. This is one of my complaints. The shoulder turns the chest. So you get the rotation, which is fine, and you get out to there, which is good as well. But in order to turn, you have to turn the chest, which is a bummer. It would have been nice if it turned where it plugged in. My other complaint is I don't see a bicep swivel, which is crazy. You know, like, I don't know why they didn't do that. That seems bizarre. It would have helped uh, get the cats into cra um, like pouncing poses, and it would have helped with the combiner. So it just seems like a waste. It's unfortunate. The elbow feels great and gets you a little shy at 90 degrees, so no problems there. And then the wrist swivel, so that's fine. Same for the other side. There's no waist swivel, which is a bummer because of the electronics, which I feel like I would have rather had the waist swivel than it had the electronics. For the hips, you get out to here, which I think is fair for Voltron. It's not the greatest range in the world, but I think it's fair. And f front and back to there. So that's nothing to turn your nose up at either, I don't believe. Ratcheted thigh swivel, so no problems there. And a double jointed knee that gets you a great range as well. Ankle tilt down. I mean, it's basically a toe tilt, but it acts as such. Up and you could turn the, the lion head out a bit for a bit of a rocker. So that's cool. The other thing that you can do is you can kind of put these lion feet out, which will serve as a heel spur of sorts. You know, and then once you get him posed right, he's gonna stand no problem. And once you get him posed, he'll stand no problem. But there is some balance issues from front to back. That probably has to do with the design here of the where the knee connects into the lion and with just the, the lion design itself. Comes with his traditional sword and shield. We got gold paint and black paint that's actually, in, in terms of the paint that's on this thing, this is the most sketchy I've seen. But all in all, pretty good. And then on this one, uh, we got the thing to clip into underneath the lion's mouth. And that's the same way we have here. And it's just the, the silver or the gray plastic. And as you can see, he holds those with no problem. Gimmick wise, there is a button in the back and once you turn it on, it allows for electronics and lights, and, well not lights so much, a little bit of lights, lights in the chest. Pidge, is that you? Where are you? Also, when you're going to form it, this is the release by the way, to get the arms out. You know, Ready to form Voltron. See, it'll Activate do Alright, you get the point enough. But you know, so it does all that kind of stuff, which is cool, but you do sacrifice the waist swivel for that. And I, me personally, I'm not sure if that's worth it. Some some people might feel differently, and that's fine. There he is next to the solo to joking for a sense of size. This is pretty much black and white proof that bigger isn't always better. But if you want a measurement, he's in a pretty wide A stance right now. He's about 16 inches. You know, 16 and a half inches probably when he's standing straight to the top of his head. So he's he's a large fella. And don't get me wrong, the, the Soldier Joking is in a whole different pocket of quality. It's, it's apples and oranges. But in terms of aesthetics, it is impressive what they were able to do at a lower price point. 
final thoughts wise, let's talk about the negatives first because there are some. The shield does not work as well as you'd like it to in the hand. He'll hold it fine once you get imposed, but it is kind of cumbersome. On top of that, that gray plastic, it just, it cheapens the whole thing. If they could have done that silver plastic, even at a, at a higher price point that wasn't too outrageous, I think people would have really appreciated it. The lack of articulation in the combined mode, no way swivel, where they chose to make the arm swivel. Now that does give us some extra stability having it where they have it, but it does break up the sculpt. It's just ugly. No bicep swivel, not being able to have the lion's mouths open and it's lack of balance. Add to that some paint issues. Now I give them credit for giving as much paint as they did, but there are paint issues all over this thing in terms of cleanliness and fullness of the color. And, and don't get me wrong, that's a healthy list of criticisms. And I think had they done that, they would have had a really killer figure. I and mean, this is still pretty good, but they would have had a really killer figure on their hands. I mean, I'm talking about art, you know, and this seems close, but it's like, it's like when you're not an artist, but you think you see some art and then as you really start to mess with it or look a little closer, you, you it kind of gets exposed that it may not be as artsy as it seems. Oh yeah, I better get these goldfish out of the way. I'm gonna put this on my Instagram. But I love how reminiscent they are of the originals. I love how much it does look and feel like Voltron. Uh, this, this conversation has sparked a lot of debate because people have been saying, you know, like if Hasbro could get a, a handle on this, they would be better off. And, and I, I agree. I think that if Combiner Wars was more along this line, people would have been happier. Granted, these lines don't have to turn into fully articulated robots, and I get that. But I do feel like at the end of the day, if you were a Voltron collector and you had all the high-end Voltron pieces, I feel like you could have this in your collection and not be embarrassed by it. Whereas I feel like the Combiner Wars Menasaur is embarrassing. This looks like Voltron. Voltron. It feels like Voltron. It's for a kid. Kids are going to be able to enjoy it, throw it around, beat it up, and it still looks, feels, sounds, and reminds everyone of who Voltron is. They didn't make an extra lion to plug into the chest or an extra lion to turn into a set of wings. They just did Voltron, and they did a pretty good job at it at a pretty reasonable price with a solid sculpt, a great presence, a decent price point, with fair materials, and okay articulation for, at the end of the day, a recommended product from me. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take care.